there we go. Alright guys, um, welcome back for the last game in the slow grow. At least I think it might be the last game, depending on the order Will yeah. uploads them. <laughs> Two left either way. <laughs> Two left. We're actually recording this one before Will's game, so we don't, we don't know what's going on with the next game. But yeah, see if, so it's Chaos vs. Tau today. Um, see if I can be the one to finally bring you down. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. 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 We'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, can Chaos beat Tau? Probably not yet. I say we're still in 7th fed. Um, just going to finish up the slow grow and then move on to 8th. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So, <laughs> just us two today, no Mike. So. No, no one else is around. Yeah, we got, we got not, the wheels not allowed out. <laughs> yes, his, his wife's catching up. Although we do have the entire top floor to ourselves, so it's, it's good. It's a bit quiet. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so on to the armies and mission and stuff. <laughs> so, see you in a sec. So, here is the 1750 list I'm going with for my chaos. Um, I have lots of chaos, so I had a good, cho good choice of options. So I started, I brought a sorcerer. Uh, level 2 with a spell familiar, and his spells will be Summoning and Psychic Shriek, just so I don't have to roll. Because I'm Iron Warriors, I get Obliterators as troops, so a unit of 3 of them. Um, a unit of 5 Chaos Marines, this is mostly so I've got somewhere to hide my characters. Uh, there's a Combi Melter and a Melter Gun in there, and they're in the Rhino, stock Rhino. I've brought my bikes back out, so... Something can die first turn. <laughs> um, there is two metal guns and a power sword on the champion there. Uh, heavies, I've got two vindicators because I had an extra one and I thought, why not? And the Havocs are back with their auto cannons. Um, can't rate those guys enough for it. Cannons is actually quite amazing. Um, then I brought the Terminators back. Contra controversial choice, but hell, why not? Give it a shot. They've done me well in the last two games, so. I'll give them another go. So that is a combined arms, and then I've got Hellforge Warpack. So again, stock Warpsmith, he'll join the Tactical Marines and the Sorcerer and the Rhino. Two Forge Fiends with Hades Auto Cannons and a Ectoplasma Cannon on the head. And my newest Hellbrute, which I painted this week, um, with just two combat weapons. Basically, um, what this does is allows me to use my Demon Forge every turn, and one of them becomes a Warpack Alpha, which will be the Hellbrute. And that gives him a 4-up Invon. And when the Hellbrew dies, he, uh, the Forge Fiends gains Rage. So, yay! Charge your Forge Fiends. <laughs> so, for 1750, that's not a bad size army. Um, a few gubbins. Everything gets 6 plus feel no pain. And there's plenty of shooting and plenty of pie. Um, so we're going to the Tau army. And here is Rob's final Tau list. Um, he's slowly grown this. And it's a nice size army now so uh, very colorful very pretty although the light is rather dark so starting with his HQs he's got a fire blade down here um, he'll be embedded in a unit of fire warriors 10 there with a DSA tactical support turret I'm a bit smart myself and then another unit of fire warriors 10 there DSA tactical support turret um, his new addition a riptide with smart missiles and burst cannon or heavy burst cannon. He's also put velocity trackers on him because he didn't know if I was going to bring a demon prince or not. But um, I didn't. So it's a bit of a waste. But hey ho. Others, we've got five pathfinders. Five pathfinders. Five pathfinders. One is a new squad. So yeah. Um, he's done a bit of painting this week. We then have. <laughs> um, XVA Crisis Battlesuits with Twin Inked Plasma and Flamers. They'll be good in the new edition. And then another squad of XVA Battlesuits with Fusion Blaster and Burst Cannon. And there's two drones, which are marker drones each. Basically, he just spread his marker drones out into that squad so he can keep them. And they've got the Buff Mander, who's got Pure Tide Engram, um, Drone Controller, and the two Ignore Cover and Twin Inked Artifacts. So that'll be a nice little squad. And the battle suits. Oh, and the battle suits have, yeah, the target locks, so they can all fire separately. So obviously the marker lights will shoot one thing and all the battle suits will shoot another. Ew, dirty, jeez. Then he's got another troop, a unit of ten breaches. I love these guys, breaches are awesome. And they'll be in a devilfish with smart missiles, burst cannon and sensor spines. So he won't immobilise himself, unfortunately. <laughs> and then the storm surge, who has been the bane of both Will and Mike. Um... 
I don't know if I could bring him down. I might try, but we'll see. Um, obviously, he's got the Pulse Blast Cannon on top, Smart Missiles, Cluster Rockets, Burst Cannon. And the Invon, I believe. Four up Invon. Yeah. So, Shield, shield Generators, generators yes. And the four Demon Souls. <laughs> yes. Demon Souls. They may hit. They've done something once in the entire campaign. <laughs> so, that is the armies. We're going on to deployment and the game. So, here we are deployed. The game type, Tactical Escalation. So... We are not night fighting. Uh, no, are we night fighting? We are night fighting turn one. Yay. Stealth that I don't get. <laughs> um, so I won the roll off for deployment first and roll, roll, won the roll off for choosing point zones. So I got this zone. So I've got all the cover in my zone pretty much, but less objectives. So Obliterate is on this flank. Uh, Forge Fiend, Vindicator, um, Rhino, Vindicator, Forge Fiend, Hellbrute, Havocs are in this. We're in on that objective there. And the bikes are carrying behind because for some reason they don't want to die turn one, although they probably will because they're bikes and that's what they do. And the blitter rate is anchoring this flank. Probably just sit on that objective. So it's a nice sort of mirror match with a heavy weapon either side. And then uh, the tower deployment zone. So he's got his fire blade in the back over here with his fire warriors. Riptide on this flank. Pathfinders. Breachers, Pathfinders, so plenty of Pathfinders scattered forward. And he's got other Fire Warriors here, covering a Storm Surge, and then Pathfinders in the rear, hoping for me to move forward to him, probably. Um, he's got both his Battle Suit units in reserve in Deep Strike with his Buffmander, and uh, I've got my Terminators in reserve. My Warp Smith and Sorcerer are both in the Rhino here, um, ready to go. And Rob's going to try and seize the initiative, so right in the middle of all, my friend. Ah, oh, last chance he had in this edition, and he fails. <laughs> Boo. So, on with Chaos turn one. So, not a bad opening turn for the Chaos. Move Objective-wise, I drew Marker 4 and Witch Hunter. Marker 4 is under the Fire Blades unit, so that's not happening. And Witch Hunter, I don't think Tower has Psychic. So, uh, it was just a case of all-out shoot. So everything advanced, apart from the Havocs, who stayed in their building. Um, I successfully immobilized this Vindicator on the rock, so yay! <laughs> and then Psychic, the Sorcerer in this Rhino, opened up with a Psychic Shriek that Pathfinders were here and wiped them out in one Shriek. Like that's the best I've ever seen Psychic Shriek do, <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> um, shooting was pretty sim similarly effective, um, Plasma Cannons from the Obliterators and the Forge Fiend. Wipe this squad out down to just three models. Uh, a few hits on the Storm Surge from Plasma, but it's all was saved on the Invon or Feel No Pain. So, not too bad. Those Fire Warriors are pretty nerfed. Other shooting, uh, some bolt guns from inside, and twilling bolts from these bikes that were in range. Um, and the Havocs shot these Pathfinders, killing two, thanks to his three up cover save, because everything on the board causes four up covers, it's all ruins. And so, that was that. It's not too bad. He passed his leadership there and here, so nothing ran away, which is lucky for him. Uh, both the Vindicators shot for the Devilfish. It jinked, um, but one whole point got through and it lost its smart missiles. And that Forge Fiend shot it as well for no effect. Hellbridge just ran up onto the uh, Rhino Wreck and he's fine there. So, after all that, first blood for the uh, Chaos. But Tower of Retaliation is about to happen, so let's see what Tower can do in their turn one. So here we are, Tower turn one. So, not much movement, seeing as the reserves are coming. The Devilfish just pushed up a bit, and the, both the DS8s went down. So, uh, no Psychic for the Tower. He Nova reacted his Riptide to get the Heavy Burst Cannon up to Rending. And then, shooting begun. So, what happened? Markalites from this squad got one hit on the Forge Fiend there. Markalites from this squad got one hit on the Forge Fiend there. So, uh, three hits, sorry, on the Forge Fiend there. So, not bad Markalite hits from uh, that from them. Pretty much average. Um, then it was shooting. So, Smart Missile there targeted the Rhino, did a whole point. Burst Cannon there targeted the Rhino. Uh, did nothing. No, no damage from him. I'm trying to figure out where the extra damage came from. Ah, that smart missile there and one fire warrior target that did two whole points. The snap firing burst cannon 
couldn't quite finish it off. So, and then this Fire Warrior Squad used its Smart Missile and one that was in range to shoot the Obliterators for no damage. So not a great start from the general stuff. So then it was on to the bigger stuff. So, Storm Surge, lined up its big gun, shot the Forge Fiend, scattered off wildly, hit it once, including the Vindicator, no damage from a strength 9, and one hit on the Hellbrute, um, Hellbrute Obliterators was saved. So no damage from the big gun. The Smart Missiles tried to finish off this Rhino, couldn't quite get that 6 to finish it off. And then the Cluster Rockets um, fired at these guys. Um, unfortunately for him, got 13 shots and a good number of um, hits, only like 3 missed, but then failed to wound completely, didn't roll a single 4 plus. The burst cannons were out of range to shoot anything, and then it was down to the D missiles. So he used 2 D missiles and plus 1 ballistic skill on this Forge Fiend and rolled a 1 and a 2. And 1 D missile on this and rolled a 1. So Storm Surge has completely whiffed. I've never seen a Storm Surge whiff so hard. It was unreal. <laughs> um, literally missed everything, failed to wound, or I went straight through the armour. Um, <laughs> yeah, you had one job. One bloody job. Riptide um, didn't burn itself with its snow reactor. He did alright. Shot at the um, Hellbrute. Um, he was buffed by the Warlord trait from the Fireblade, which allowed him to reroll ones to hit. So he didn't quite get hot. Um, good 10 hits on the Hellbrute. Two got through. One was saved on the Invon, thankfully. But then the um, penetrating hit that did get through blew off one of the Power Fists. So, yeah, Hellbrute's a little less fighty. But, you know, he's got a long way to go, probably could give before he gets there. Because I want my Forge Fiends to have rage, because scary charging Forge Fiends is hilarious. So with that, he scored his one objective, which was Mark of Four, under his Fireblade. And he's used up his Warlord trait. So not a great first turn, but he's got a lot in reserve, so we'll see how his next turn goes. But for now, on to Chaos turn two. So, the Chaos Hammer lands hard this turn. So, movement wise, these guys just nudged up to this ruin, same as Forge Fiend. This Vindicator is immobilized, so stayed there. Rhino failed to immobilize itself again. Stupid Rhino. <laughs> this Vindicator stayed still and the bikes wrapped around it. And the Forge Fiend just nudged up. Hellbrute moved and ran forward, so he's on objective 3. And the Havocs are still staying still. Um, one other thing, the Terminators arrived from reserve and a perfect deep strike around that Sergeant model there. That guy um, meant my Heavy Flame was a damn near perfect to wipe this squad out. So in the shooting phase, this squad, Heavy Flame, Akomi Flame, Akomi Bowls, just left the Fireblade there. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Um, but he was lined up in Flame Template Formation. Um, other shooting saw Last Cannons and the Forge Fiends um, Hades Auto Cannons wipe all, all but one of those Pathfinders out. Um, the Vindicate around here pop the... Devilfish, uh, killed five guys with the explosion, and then a combi bolter, and some bolt guns from there, wiped out three more. This Forge Fiend shot the Riptide, did a wound with its Hades auto cannons, and the Havocs, I can't remember what they shot, I think they shot at the um, Breaches, killing off a handful more. Um, I believe that's right. <laughs> so. That's a hell of a turn. No damage to the Storm Surge, but the Storm Surge wasn't overly popular last turn. And again, Terminators being, like, reliable. Like, when did this happen? <laughs> um, so a pretty brutal Chaos turn too. Although, my cards, Mark of Four and Hungry for Glory, so I've drawn Issue a Challenge to an army with no characters, but I will get Mark of Four, because my Terminators dropped right on top of it. So, Rob does have some reserves to come in, hopefully that can sway the game, because it's going a little one way at the moment, but we'll see what happens on Tau turn 2. So, Tau turn 2, and time for some counter punch. So, he started with his reserve rolls, and neither one of them came on. Boo, he needed that. Um, his objectives were multiple distractions, so the obliterators on this side, and Havocs that side, which he does score. Um, the obliterators doing a leadership test will uh, we'll do that. They are fine. Um, so, with his lack of shooting, he started. He moved the breaches up, shot the rhino. Didn't quite get that six. 
Five blade, shot the rhino, didn't quite get the six. So these guys shot the rhino and wrecked it. Squad got out, wasn't pinned, fortunately, thanks to veterans of the long war. And then um, other shooting. The one Markalite tried to shoot the Forge Fiend, but missed. And then Riptide, no reacted ripple fire with his um, smart missiles. Um, shooting from the Riptide at the Terminators caused no wounds thanks to some jammy armor save rolls. And then it was all the Storm Surge just turn. So anchored in, lots of shots. So four of the Big Pie, strength nine, went to the Forge Fiend. Wrecked the Vindicator due to the blast size and one Hellbrute. But no damage on the Forge Fiend thanks to some jammy invulnerable saves. So that's pretty good. Um, the smart missiles from this shot this squad up and killed two of the marines. Not bad going. And then the cluster rockets. 36 shots at the terminators and he killed two. <laughs> so thanks to Phil and Payne, two up armor. They're, they're still there. Oh, they also need a leadership check, but they're leadership nine currently. So that is a nine. Thankfully they hold. <laughs> So with that, um, we're at 2-2 at the moment. First Blood and Marker 4 to the uh, Chaos, and Marker 4 and multiple distractions to the Tau. So going into Chaos turn 3, I'm a little worried about his reserves, because he's piecemealing in, but let's see how much damage I can do. So, end of Chaos turn 3, and they are on a rampage. Um, so the bikes, still being alive, I really don't know what to do with them now. So they just ran up to support this squad, and between two of them wiped out those two breaches. <coughs> Wasn't too hard. Halbrook ran again, trying to get up to that riptide. I will catch up with you. <laughs> um, this Vindicator was out of range of everything, so just kind of sat there. And then the Forge Fiend and the Havocs shot the riptide, and did a single wound. <coughs> so not a bad start. Then, over here, the Ectoplasma Cannon. Oh, that's one thing I missed. Psychic Face. Um, I summoned with the Sorcerer. He forgot Psychic Shriek on the perils and took a wound. And I got some Bloodletters who scattered way over here, right in front of the Storm's Edge. Yay! So I had some Bloodletters. Um, over here, the Ectoplasma Cannon and the Hades Orc Cannons, plus two Plasma Cannons from here. Wiped out those Fire Warriors and put a wound on the Storm Surge. Woohoo! I finally wounded it. <laughs> um, otherwise, the Terminator's moved up. Flamed and charged the Fireblade and wiped him out. So that scored me two points for Marker 4 and um, Behind Enemy Lions plus Warlord. So it's put me into a bit of a lead, but we'll see what the Tau can do. Hopefully, their reserves will come on. Tau turn 3 and. The, the, sorry about that. Tau turn 3 and all the reserves turn up. So these units battle suits deep struck pretty much where they are, spread out using their assault move. This unit of battle suits deep struck down here due to a scatter. And they've assault moved to there. So, all the damage happened. This squad mark lighted up the, um, the Forge Fiend and then the actual squad using their target lots um, killed all but one of the obliterators. Then the plasma suits put the Forge Fiend down to one whole point. And then it was all down to the Storm Surge pretty much. So, other movement wise, the Riptide moved back and then assault jumped to there. His shooting was ineffective, shooting the Terminators. Uh, Ripple fired again with the Nova Reactor. Um, Pathfinder put an extra mark out on that Forge Fiend. So, Storm Surge. One big pie shot at um, the Forge Fiend, wrecked it. The other lot of pies wrecked these guys down to one dude in Warpsmith and the bikes down to two. So, pretty good shooting from the Storm Surge. The Cluster Rockets and the Burst Cannon killed five Blood Letters. And the smart missiles killed a Terminator. So, that's quite a lot of shooting from the Storm Surge. Quite a lot of death from him. As his view of the battlefield gets a little clearer. I mean, I've got nothing left on this side after all that shooting. So he has scored a mark of three. And um, destroying stuff in my with stuff in his deployment zone. And one other. So, we're, we're pretty even on points now. Let's see what Chaos can do on their turn four. So, there is now a hole where a commander used to be. So, all this is now dead this turn. So, movement started with both these squads rallying, luckily. Um, the warp smith managed to make this squad get hot, and a bolt gun hit caused a dead drone. The forge fiend turned around, got hot on his plasma cannon, took a hole point. But then the Hades auto cannon wiped out most of the other drones. And the auto cannons here 
killed off the drones and the commander passed some saves. Then the big one, the Vindicator, demolish around into there. There was one drone and a commander um, wounded and they both died due to a failed lookout servo from the commander and one plasma broad, uh, battle suit was clipped and wiped out by the demolish cannon. So that Vindicator has actually done quite well that shooting phase, wiping out the commander, a drone and a battle suit. Um, some scattered bolt gun fire from those guys, didn't do much, same with them. Um, over here, the flamer from the one Terminator caused the wound on the Riptide. I'm deciding not to charge because I think the Riptide would actually win that one on one. And the uh, Hellbrutes just run up. He will close the gap eventually. The Riptide will eventually run out of room to hide. <laughs> um, so with that, that's only scored me one point that turn, which was um, Recon. Because my other, other objectives were Blood and, uh, blood and Guts and Marker 2. So the Blood that is charged into the Storm Surge, that's going to be a losing fight. The Storm Surge is anchored so he can't stomp me. Um, so a wound on Storm Surge now, and but next turn he will up his anchors probably and stomp me to death. Um, although likely means the Storm Surge probably won't shoot for the rest of the game. Otherwise, not much else to go on. So we will go on to Tau turn 4 and see what happens. So, Tau turn 4 and the game is drawing to a close. So, shooting wise, these guys shifted. Uh, these guys have assault jumped to there, they were here. Shooting from these guys, um, one burst cannon, one melt. This guy caused him snap fire and only one hole point. And the others failed to actually hurt these guys thanks to cover saves because you were shooting from here. So, and then these guys failed to hurt them due to bad rolls. So, not great from the battle suits. Um, the Riptide failed his Nova Reactor, caused himself a wound, so he's now just down to one. And a Terminator made all his arm saves again. Like, Terminators have never been so survivable. <laughs> so, not a great turn. The Storm Surge in combat took another wound, so he's down to five. And um, stomped out all the blood letters. Lucky six, managed to get rid of them all. So, with that, we're on to Chaos turn five, and it's looking really quite tight now. So, here we are. End of Chaos turn 5, and it's a good turn. So, as you can see, all the battle suits are gone. The bikes and the warpsmiths swept round. Melt a gun from the bike, two melt guns from the bikes, and melt combi melter that hasn't shot yet. From there, wiped out two, and then combat finished them off. Did lose a bike on the way in on combat from Overwatch. Over here, the Forge Fiend wiped out these two battle suits with the strength of Hades Auto. Um, Rob's feeling the instant death, looking forward to being rid of it. And the autocannons from back there put another two wounds on the storm surge. So, yeah, it's down to four. I could do it. <laughs> but with that, we are into town turn five. Let's see what he can do with what he's got left. So here we are, end of Tau turn five, and Rob and I have decided to call it due to the point gap. So the storm surge has just hopped over here, attempted to deshoot the hell brute, but missed. Uh, first cannon shot this bike. And I passed my first Leona Pain of the game. <laughs> uh, Cluster Rocket shot the Warp Smith and killed the Marine that was above him, but not enough to quite top him over. And the Smart Missiles did another whole point to the Vindicator. So with that, oh, one other thing, you tried to charge the Hellbrook, but didn't quite make it. Sorry. Fun times. Um, oh, yeah, full, full time of nothing can score. So with that, we'll call it and we'll catch you in the post game. Here we are, just after the game. Five turns of quite a bit of fun. Yeah, good game. Good <laughs> yeah, game. it was good. Um, neither one of us really got tabled. Uh, it was right to turn five where I pulled the lead, basically. Yeah. So it finished 12 6 in the end? Yeah. We had 12 6 in chaos. But I got on my last turn, I had a whole hand I couldn't score because I only had a storm zone. Yeah. One marker. <laughs> one marker, like, yeah. That one pathfinder. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, your reserves not coming in turn two. Sucks. Yeah. Storm Surge uh, did nothing the first turn. Yeah, first turn. Literally failed to cause any wounds, which. Would have been once won the game, but it would have been nice to put a couple of dents in the more things and things yeah. like that. Four things, yeah. Four things. Sorry, I don't know. Probably <laughs> like you. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it was a case of I knew what I could take out of yours I to could, stop you hurting me. I basically. knew from the outset you was going to have a lot of like hard hitting armor on yeah. most of my stuff. <laughs> strength five can't really deal with a lot of anything above strength one. But yeah, I mean, uh, you played well. The storm surge whipping like you. Yeah, only that's one certainly back. You didn't have. Like, I was claiming kind of objectives quite regular at the beginning. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the game time, you only get one or two for the first couple of turns, mm. can be a bit 
I'm saying this. my Terminators, they just sucked up the Rip Hurts fire all game long. Yeah, they just didn't die. <laughs> like, eight shots. And that per- per- perfect three turns strike. in a row and nothing died. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect peep strike with a heavy flame in front of your fire warriors who were nicely lined up in flames. Yeah, I knew that was a bit risky. <laughs> I like, didn't do anything all game. I think I shot the smart miss or something. That's yeah. it. Then everything else was outrange. I, yeah, I, mean, I think I should have had them more forward, but I was trying to protect the commander. And so it's sort of mid game when your battle suits all dro- dropped in. And so it was all back and forth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> one minute I was, you know, I was leaning on points but losing the table. Then you swung around and the suits turned up eventually, right after. Yeah. And three, I turned up there, mate. Yeah. And um, just blew a big hole and stuff. <laughs> then it's like death on the Vindicator? Yeah, I almost got the storm <laughs> surge halfway. <laughs> Dougie, Dougie didn't like the Vindicator. <laughs> no, that, that's like the first time we've seen the failed lookout, sir, actually be really detrimental. <laughs> like eating a demolisher cannon to the face. Yeah. It's, it's not very good for your health. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> so, yeah. Um, We'll put up the points in a bit, so we'll see how that stands. I think we're planning to do an epilogue into eight, so we'll see. Um, hopefully doubles or something. Yeah, just I'm sure, yeah. One, just so we can all get together and have yeah. a chat. Just, basically just to see how our armies go into eight and see what they're like, yeah. which would be nice. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys later. Yeah, take care.